Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm Nostalgia Scott and we're going to Spring and Spiders, which is actually out of order than the original game. But the music here is also different. It's more happy. Like the forest music in Donkey Kong Country 3 for the uh, SNES is so dark and sinister. Like it's it's crazy dark. It almost doesn't fit this type of level. Like as for some of the other forest levels, of course, this game, like, I believe for, like, the saw level that comes up way later in the game, um, it has this music, and this does not fit. But the forest music from the original fits, you know? Ah, Squawks. Squawks, let's do this. I only have one more map pack to go on, ah, uh, Call of Duty. So, that's going to be awesome. And let's go into this barrel. Yeah, I'm recording this directly after the last episode. I normally record two episodes of each game. Usually. Anyways, collect uh, bananas. This one is not easy. The Squawks has a really big hitbox. So you gotta, like, really be careful. I like when the bananas just stack together, you know? Like, they're in the same spot one after another. Luckily, they do give you plenty of time for this one. Squawks also has a weird issue going down. We'll just go down here and collect our coin. And I also hate the annoying flapping that Squawks always causes. Look, I get it, he's a bird. Ooh, bananas. It's like, ooh, a piece of candy, you know? James Woods from Family Guy. Ah, me and my girlfriend love those episodes. James Woods also plays one of my favorite uh, Disney villains, Hades, in Hercules. I recommend you guys check out that movie if you haven't. No, I'm not sponsored by Disney, obviously. Not this level of the channel. This thing has no sponsorship yet. Upsy daisy we go. I don't think I need anything to get up there. Let's see what's down here. Ah, sneakrit. You know, like secret, but sneaky. Sneakrit. Ah, oh, what is this? Oh, a randomly really easy. Ah, oh, that's what was in this tree. I always forget that it's actually in this. Think about this when you actually need Dixie. Shit. I got pooper nuggets. Maybe... Oops. Actually, you know what I think you're supposed to do? So I believe you're actually supposed to bring this with you. I think that's actually the whole goal of this, you know? And then you just do it like this. Like that. See? That worked out perfect. Now, I always used to do it the hard way, and I don't know why I never did it that way. Now, I believe we want this. We'll just ride him up here. Oh, it's just for the end, okay. What is this for? Is there like a red bee around here? I guess there's him, but... I guess I'll kill you. It's only one more bonus, right? I do like this music, though. This music is happy. Though, it's honestly not one of my favorite soundtracks. Oh, wait, the bonus is right here. Falling in trees is how you get bonuses by collecting 30 stars. And this last download says it's gonna take like 80 minutes, and I'm like, are you serious? It better not actually take 80 minutes. That means my internet dropped, or a lot more people are online doing stuff. I hope that is not the case. And honestly, why I always generally finish levels as kitty is because like I like the color of this flag better. Like it's a it's a nice blue. Like, Dixie's pink isn't even, like, her, um, clothing color. See, it's like a, a reddish pink. Anyway, Spring and Spiders is out of the way. Cranky's Dojo is not mandatory. And we'll do Riverside Race. Now, 
for this level, before we get into it, you have, you have to do one of two things. You have to complete the level, or you have to race through the level. I always race through the level, then I go back and complete it. Because there is no way in hell you're going to beat that uh, minute and 15 record while um, collecting everything. No way. And there's also a swarm of bugs that are always trying to kill you, which I always found kind of annoying for this level. Like, why it's so early in the second world, you know? Like, I, it's like a big difficulty jump in the game. Though, it's not super difficult. Like, I don't have a, a really hard time with it. Let's find those who, you know, aren't the, probably the best at platformers would have an issue with it. Oh, I think we... I think we are doing good by 10 seconds. Like, 10 seconds of, like, the average time frame here. Or, like, what it would take to get his record, you know? Ow! Oh, almost got hit by a gay clownfish. It wasn't even the bee that almost got us. Like, Buzzer? I believe his name is Buzzer. His name is Buzzer or Buzzsaw. Okay, continuing on. Hey, RNG. I okay, know there's no R, but you know what I mean. There we go. Beat it all by two seconds. That is actually bad, but we did it. Now we actually have to go back to the level. Kill all of the rats. Get out before those bees get us. Are they bees or are they like, um, like little beetles? Maybe. Gnats. Ow, how the hell did I get hit by you? Yeah, I was not supposed to die there, by the way. Well, or take damage. Like, I died on purpose, but I was supposed to do that. That's what I was supposed to do there. Damn it, I wanted the K, but I, s I still did the exact same thing. Cause see, there's a bonus up here. Also, those bugs were really far behind us. Collect 15 nanners. Whoa, I almost jumped into the fish. Cause I didn't see the fish. I'm just like, oh, hey. Oh, shit, fish. I, I think there's only like one annoying boss in this entire game. Other than that, the game is not that difficult. Like, there are difficult levels. Nothing that makes you want to rage quit. And also, I believe the background color is slightly different in the original. I could be mistaken on that one. They could be like the same. But I know some of the levels, since it is a, a GBA game, can't be the exact same. And that's completely understandable. And see, it said plus 30 seconds, so we're actually losing. According to that. Oh, this is seriously just for a one-up. Like you think with something like that it would be like the DK coin or maybe an easy to get bonus, but no. You like maybe back up. Hey, I got our life back though. Now, we can take this and go up here though. I believe this is our second bonus, yeah. Invincibility is not that common in Donkey Kong Country games. Like, it shows up time to time, but time and time again, eh? <laughs> I do like how the water moves down below, though. That is a nice feature. Boom. Now we just need to get coin, and then we're good. We're golden. Now, if I'm not mistaken... We actually gotta do the rolling in a different er different position this time. So this is the end of the level. Damn it! I wanted to switch, but she wouldn't move. Like, that was annoying. Run! I think it's like really close to my butt. <laughs> that was uh, pretty easy. Now hang on a second, I actually have to answer a text message here real quick. I don't know if I'll cut it out or not. My girlfriend's just asking 
when I get my when I have to when I want to get my game. Like she wants to, she was blah, 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 blah. she's asking me when I was gonna go out and get Call of Duty, but I need to give her the money, so I don't know when I'm gonna go out. Like it honestly all depends on if she wants to go, you know. See, so our main goal is to open up that door, which requires us to go and kill all of these rats, these neat wannabes from Donkey Kong Country 2. And we'll be playing Donkey Kong Country 2 as well, so don't worry. There's something up here, though, if I recall. One banana. Yep, there's one banana up there, guys. Yeah, we had 69 bananas for a brief period of time. Oh, God damn it. Why do I have a... I knew there was something down there. Like, how come down there there was a coin, but in the hard to get spot there was absolutely nothing, you know? Except for one goddamn coin. Or not even... Not coin, banana. I believe there is a bonus over here. Yeah, I hate how this mill level is literally like the first mill level of the game, just with a new concept, you know? Like, I mean, it looks the same. That, that's what I'm getting at, you know? Like, I don't even care if they, like, just recolor it. Just do something. But I believe this is the... Either the last mill level or the second last mill level. Can't quite remember. Pretty sure it's the last, though. You can buy a rat tattoo. And I'm pretty sure coin's down there as well. Oh, wait, no, not down. Coin's up here. I think. So that or a bonus. Now yeah, it's a bonus. Yeah, see, one bonus right before the halfway barrel, one bonus right after the halfway barrel. And, like, exact same concept, but with bananas now. And literally just jump back and forth. That's all you have to do. I don't even recommend doing anything else. I don't even recommend just waiting. I just do this. You see something to do while, you know, you wait for the bananas to spawn. Yahoo! Yahoo! Jahoo! 17 uh, bonus coins. These are actually. Ah, sorry. Use to unlock uh, levels later on. Like, really hard levels. Yeah! Struck that rat down like lightning. Come on, man. Now, I'm pretty sure, though, there's a coin up here. Though, I think we need to actually. Yeah, we need to get up here like this. Barely don't need to, but you do. HD Kong's. I'm just gonna walk up. Like, yeah, I'm awesome. I'm Kitty Kong, bitches. Fuck. Finally, F bomb! Like, what? You damn bees have like a huge hitbox. You must die. Now there's like nothing to look for, so you just have to beat the level. You know what? I'm pretty sure they could hide a secret up here, right? No. Perfect spot for a secret. Hides no secret. Really obvious spot that they probably wouldn't put something? Put something. Does that make sense, right? And why do you give me like a really easy rat like that? I think we have two rats left. Is there like a... Ah, there's a barrel right here. Shoot. I meant to jump. Sometimes my jumping on this controller is really bad. I think the controller is losing sensitivity because, like, there's so much button mashing, and then there's, like, uh, shit like that that you have to deal with in, a, in games that it just gets worn out. Woohoo, here we go! Fall down to the beginning of the level again. Oh, I killed it. Oh, here's our new buddy, Perry the Parakeet. He can kill, uh, booty birds, and he can also give you treasure at the ending of the level. I highly recommend you use Dixie while, you know, dealing with him, though. And here we go. Okay, we don't have to do Funky again. So let's go do Barrel Shield Bust Up. Which is the second forest level. Oh, this is a weird tint to it. Hey, a really odd tint. <laughs> Yeah, so our concept are these shields, and Kitty sucks for them, because his hitbox is so big, because he dangles, like Deputy Dangle, so, you know. 
does kind of bite you in the ass every now and then. I was wanting to play Super Mario Bros. 3 for you guys, but I'm sorry. This Let's Play will have to do. Bam 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 bam. Anything else on the other side? Ah! Well, did not mean to find a warp, but apparently there are warp barrels in this game. Uh, well, guys, you guys got some bonus content. I was going to show you all that stuff at the, the end of the game, but I well, don't have to show you that one anymore. Boop. Sorry, Rat Boys, I gotta get going. Hey, another one up, though. 42 lives before we're done World 2. And we've already, you know, died before. It's not like we haven't died in the game. Or I use rewinds or save states or anything like that. I actually never do in a Donkey Kong game. Unless it's Donkey Kong Land 1, but even then, I don't really know how to do it. So, I never do it. Like, I don't know how to use Game Boy save states. It's sad, but... Really easy to get bonus. This action is supposed to be the first forest level, though. I don't know why this is supposed to be the first one. Because, in my personal opinion, I find it a lot harder than Spring and Spiders. Because Spring and Spiders is just the jumping level. But, eh, whatever, whatever they choose, eh? They're the game designers, and I believe there's one more level than the boss. You guys are probably wondering, man, it's been so long since you got a banana bird. Where the fudge do you get these banana birds? Well, there is one banana bird that we can get, and that's... Fudge that. It's like the whole point of Riverside Race, you know? Fah! See, that's what I hate. Kitty's so long. That's what she said. Too long for the V, man. Too long for the V. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit that for a second. Woohoo! Nope. Not gonna risk that. Not gonna risk the biscuit that time. Like, I know you gotta risk the biscuit time to time. But... I like that, man. I can't remember what spot you actually need to keep your Kong, though. Actually, I believe it's down there. Yeah, it's actually right here. You need... Goddamn, I got stuck on the doorway. No. Face the right way. Thank you. Yeah, because this is coin, and we need coin. We don't want to leave coin behind. In the original game, I believe you actually have to go and pick up the coin, though. You can't just, like, leave it there. Oh. thought there was more to deal with, but apparently not. Did I miss anything up there? Oh, the G. Oh, and the last bonus I believe you need Dixie for, but they actually give you a Kong Barrel before you, you know, get to it. So it is kind of like a, a nice... Feature that they did. See, Kitty is so big! And it's right here. And I believe once you get up here, there is a DK barrel. Yep. So now what you have to do is you just fly like this carefully. You have to get a nice running jump to get to the bonus. And the ending is right underneath, so. We're really close to the end. Oh, damn it. This type of, this type of mechanic? Is it down here? It's up here. See, this is one of those ones where you hope they just spawn together, you know? Like in the same spot, but... Chances of that are... Pretty slim, especially when there's a lot of, like, spots where the bananas can spawn. It's like, yeah, yeah. And level B. My iPod literally sent me a message saying, Learn how to use your iPod. Now, Brash's Stadium. I can't remember if this is actually a stadium in the original game. What? You can't have beaten my time? I've held that record for two years running. You made me so angry I could just... And then, in the original, you're supposed to sound like a crumbling and go, Run, 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 and pound the table. But... Hang on. I got dot. No, oh, there's... I thought there was supposed to be dialogue there. But he also talks to you, like, saying you can never beat his race, and then you beat his race, and then he's like, Oh, wow. there's less dialogue in the GBA version. 
Now, last level, Bobbing Barrel Brawl. This level is an Ellie level again, but this time you can't go in the water. And this level is actually tinted red. I believe it's actually more red in the original, but it's still tinted red. Now I got another Ellie level. Oh shoot, taking damage at the beginning like that, like a fool. Now, push down and R, you can actually suck up water. And you can then use it to kill enemies. Because squirting in somebody's face, that's what she said, can kill somebody. Oh look, first bonus. You're actually supposed to aim up to kill it, but I cheated that. Find the frickin' coin. Oh yeah, we have this concept. Damn it! <laughs> I slid into the water. Oh man, I need something. Ha ha! Cheated the system! <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to do that, obviously, but still, it's, it's pretty fun, you know? Oh, give it to me so I couldn't jump on. Go figure. First time we failed a bonus in. Have we actually failed a bonus in this game? I don't think we have. So that, there's a first for everything, am I right? Oh, god damn it. I could suck up as much water as I wanted to, but. It's a damn did be. You know what? I want that bear coin. Hey. I want that bear coin, B. Or. Why'd I call you a B? You're clearly a beetle. Why the hell did you not? There you go, you were supposed to actually drop it, but for some reason, you didn't do as I intended. And, um, okay, come on, get off. I don't know, one of the computer updates was a thing called threaded message, or, well, like, shared messaging or whatever, and it, like, literally just, your computer sends you shit, like, of stuff that you don't even have, like, oh, here, use this on Mac. Well, you're clearly using a PC, so, woohoo! Smart asses. Dumb computer. You know what? I bet you there's something in here. Hmm, nothing in there, actually. Oh, I already have full. Oh, yeah, because if you're in water, you automatically pick up water. Well, I think I hit the B. You know what? Screw that. I'm gonna keep trying. Why am I even bothering to kill one B? Ah, here we go. Now, for this, we need these beetles. I just find it funny when they're crawling, they look completely red, you know? Oh, I took damage, but we got in. Collect only 10 stars. <clears throat> I believe this is, yeah, it's literally a really easy bonus if you have good uh, maneuverability. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot to say, to save your game, just press start and click save again. There's no actual, like, in-game save feature like they had in the original. Oh, well, that actually worked out perfectly for me. And I just got my missing Kong back, which I'm pretty sure is Dixie. You should be kidding now, I believe. Why would you double shoot like that? It's a really weird spot to put a barrel. I feel like that wasn't absolutely necessary. Thanks for the free life, 45 lives. Got 45 lives, but a bitch ain't one. Oh, I know, it was Kitty apparently that took the damage. Oh, I swear when you're in animal form, it's weird. Yeah, let's go down here to the uh, bonus. Eric's Horde, yeah, it's not Eric, it's Eric. So four red, really? That's easy as pie. I think the saying easy as pie came from the fact that eating pie is really easy, you know? And Eric's ambush. This is an interesting boss, like he looks like he doesn't really belong in this game, like his animation style is so different, like he's like a, an interesting three... Damn it. Yeah, see he gets in the way when you're over there, but he doesn't get in your way any other spot on the freaking level, you know? It's a really cramped boss, but then again, most bosses in this are literally in like a screen like that. Now he'll start shooting like these green pea globules at you. I recommend you just sit over here and duck. And then as for the barrel part, people recommend you use Kitty, but I will show you a strategy without him. Just sit it down. That's it. That's all you have to do. He gets cross-eyed. That's funny. Now one more hit and he's dead. 
Like I said, this is, like, this game doesn't have a lot of super difficult boss fights. Like, even the final boss of the game, like, the secret final boss, is not that bad. With, you know, in all due respect. It can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Like, you might have to die once or twice just to learn, but overall, I don't find it that difficult. And... BOOM! Goodbye, you giant hairy mongrel. Oh, cranky. Very good, Kongs. No more whip spinning fun for that egg-legged treat, Spider-Man. I'm sure Funky will put the patch to good use. Go see him now. Okay, so in the next episode, we will go see Funky. Stay Funkadelic, my homies. Peace out.